happened to notice the seal's face sticking out of the out of the net and I said Jeff get the gaff and uh, I came over beside it and and Jeff reached down and managed to get it in in one swoop. Jeremy Wiley and Jeff Dore have been working together as lobstermen for nearly 20 years. They say this day in the ocean was like any other. That is until they came across this seal in distress. This little guy is like gasping for air. Yeah, a long ways from home. <laughs> Jeremy says he put the possibility of the seal biting him out of his mind, focused on not cutting it as he worked to get him free. At the end, the two best friends sharing a moment with a seemingly grateful young seal. And we threw a couple fish over and we're like, well, there's a snack for, you know, <laughs> let's swim back to Matinicus Rock. And, and that was it. We were like, well, that was cool. Put yep. the phone away and went back to work. work. And when Jeremy told his girlfriend Crystal about the video, and he was going on and on about this video. You have to see it, you have to see it. She felt others would love to see their moment of kindness and that cute seal face. This is awesome, this is awesome. I have to put this on Facebook. People are gonna love this. And they have. 582,000. And counting the guys and their family in disbelief of the number of views and shares it's had on social media, but say they feel anyone else would have done the same thing. It seems surreal. Honestly, Linda Dowdy, executive director with Marine Mammals of Maine, says fishermen and women are great for monitoring injured animals. They're out there. They're seeing stuff that are out there. So that collaboration and that networking is really important. And that Jeremy and Jeff were kind to help the seal. They were well-meaning people trying to do the right thing. In Owl's Head, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8.